Welcome back. I think every time I put out a new video, I'm always saying sorry for the long pause in between videos. So I'll just kind of skip that. Today, we're going to interview someone that is attending a hybrid PA program. I believe this is the first time that we've ever interviewed someone that's at or attending a hybrid PA program. So for those of you who are considering that or thinking about attending one, this might be helpful for you. So this is the Franklin Pierce PA program located well, right where I am here in Austin, Texas. So if you're interested or thinking about a PA program and maybe just have some questions, I'm gonna let the student that we're interviewing today talk about what she's experienced. She's been in the program for a few months now and she has some really good insight as to what she's experienced thus far. So I'll just let her go ahead and take over. Hopefully today you'll learn something about a hybrid program. Thank you. Okay, well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, we're interviewing a student that, well, I'm going to let her go ahead and introduce herself and where she, she's actually in school right now. So if you can go ahead and tell us which program and your name, please. Hi, I'm Nasia Stefanik. I am in the Franklin Pierce University um, hybrid program at uh, the Texas Austin campus. Um, it is virtual at this time, but we definitely have uh, a couple weeks later on in throughout the terms and throughout the entire year uh, or the entire two years that uh, we will actually go to campus, do our skills, practice, you know, be able to to test and try all of our our newly acquired PA skills out um, on each other and then, uh, you know, get ready for practice. Well, welcome. Um, I actually live in Austin, so if you ever need any tips about places to eat, I'm I'm the one to talk to. I I've heard there's so much good food, so much cool stuff. So there is, and then there's a PA school. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Did you specifically want a hybrid program, or you just chose this at a later date? This is where you wanted to attend. Um. So I had applied to. You. Uh, both in-person and hybrid programs. Uh, at first, I I wasn't a hundred percent certain uh, what I wanted, and and I had interviewed and had been waitlisted at programs that um, were both in-person and hybrid, um, as Franklin Pierce says, and it, it was kind of a fell into my my lap, um, and. I did have some courses um, during my my under or my undergraduate and my graduate degree that were online, and so I knew I could do it, and I knew that I I had the discipline to be able to say, hey, I, you know, I have classes that and these certain things I need to get done. I'm on my own timeline for them today, day by day, um, rather than you know we have exams and quizzes set up. Um, at different times that you synchronously do, uh, but a lot of other things are asynchronous. So you do them on your time. And I knew that it was something I, I could put myself through and, and be, have the, uh, the, I guess, I can't even think of the word, um, <laughs> the, the discipline, I guess. Um, I had the discipline to be able to do it and it, it worked out. So what, what was it about Franklin Pierce that attracted you amongst other schools that you applied to? Uh, initially, I I thought it was really cool that they had this program that was virtual or hybrid and uh, that the, the staff and everything that I read about Franklin Pierce was really strong. And they, I read that they had other programs that have been longstanding and were really great. Um, and I had heard the name multiple times in, in passing. And when I looked into it, it fulfilled, you know, many of the boxes that I wanted. It had a lot of providers um, from different areas uh, that it, uh, areas of medicine um, that were teaching. There's a lot of experience in the professors. Uh, and then also it had that that systems block um, and the courses were set up to reflect that. Uh, I really like that. And I like the ability um, to be able to kind of set my own schedule day to day and some of the flexibility of saying, you know, I'm not ground just to this classroom right here, right now. Um, and some days you don't need, you, you need to be able to 
break free from class. And some days you're just not able to sit for 12 hours, eight hours a day and everything be kind of thrown at you and all these lectures and not necessarily have the time to process it in a way that works for you. And for me, I am one of those people that sometimes in the middle of a lecture, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just heard all of that and I typed a bunch of things, but I didn't grasp it. I had I don't know what I just heard. And so the the ability to stop, be able to, you know, go back later or to be able to rewind um and and listen through really understand is important for me. It's important that that I, you know, wasn't just sitting and being present in a classroom where I was actually learning in that environment. So for me it it was that aspect where I knew I could kind of adapt day to day, uh, what I needed, um, and basically just build my experience off of my own, um, educational needs, I guess. Um, I could kind of adapt day to day. So when did you start the program? We started in March of 2024. We started the first week of March. Uh, so it's a little different than a lot of other programs. Uh, a lot of other programs start, say, August or end of summer. Uh, but I, I don't mind. I don't mind. It was now that summer's come along, um, we're, we've gotten one class under our belt. And, and I really feel confident about, you know, going through the summer and still being able to kind of manage um, having some time with family, friends, and also understanding, you know, coursework and being able to to set up my schedule for that. So now that you've been in about three months, um, how do you find it communicating with your fellow classmates? Since again, this is a online format. So it's actually been really awesome. Um, I had become kind of friends with other uh, people in the program just based off of, um, one was that one of my closer friends in the program, uh, she actually lives in Baltimore. So we were like, we bonded over being from the East Coast and being close to each other. Uh, there are a lot of kids in our class, well, a lot of my peers uh, that are from Texas, that are from Las Vegas or California. So we're all on different time zones, but there are a lot of courses and a lot of there's a lot of cohesion between us as people because we all are kind of sharing the same experience and we come together and we set up meetings to to call and and discuss things um, on our own but then we also have uh, certain courses that we meet and we do virtual labs and we'll go through different things with each other uh, and review different you know, exams or, or like physical exams and, and all of that. Um, and we'll talk through it and we'll provide little hints of uh, information here or there. If there's a lot of um, individuals in the program that this isn't their first career, they're not fresh out of college. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have been uh, respiratory therapists. One was a dietitian uh, and Many were EMTs or worked in uh, different areas of medicine. One uh, student, she was actually already in medical school and she's now in PA school. Uh, and so she, we each have different things that we're able to provide. Uh, and as a group, we've all really kind of built off of that. And we've used it to our advantage to, to work together and, and create good friendships. And, you know, a lot of these people I talk to every day and I've never actually met them in person, but in two months I will. And, and I know that there'll be people that, that I'll be, you know, lifelong friends with because we've gone through something so crazy and so difficult together. Um, and we've, we've really grown just in the last three months. It's crazy what, what we learned from, you know, what, what we learned about ourselves from three months ago till now is like, different people. So tell me a little bit about like an average week. I mean, mm -hmm. for another PA program, they might go to school, you know, Monday through Friday morning till afternoon, but how does it work? I mean, are you in class every day uh, during the week or tell me a little bit about how a week is in a hybrid program? 
Yeah. So it's, I have this really awesome calendar that I look at um, probably like 20 times a day. So I know exactly what's going on and what I need to do and what's coming up. Uh, but I would say pretty much um, Monday through Friday, I'm getting up at, you know, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, depending. Um, but everything is based on Austin central time zone. So for me, it's a little easier to have an extra hour kind of built in in the morning um, before things really kick off. A lot of our quizzes um, and exams, they're synchronous there. So you have to show up, you know, at 10 a.m. Uh, and the exam starts at 10 a.m. or the quiz starts at 10 a.m. And then you do that. And then a lot of times your day is kind of up to you from there. Uh, I personally will, you know, look through lectures. I'll look through the first set of um, the the lectures that I want to do that day. I'll read through them and then I will listen. I'll, I'll take my notes, you know, just a general outline. And then I will listen to the lecture that's recorded and uh, I'll take my own notes on. But well, some days it's, I'm typing them out and I, you know, I'm furiously typing. Other days I'm drawing things out on my iPad, um, kind of different processes for different classes. Um, cardiology, I found, is a lot more drawing and writing things. And other courses, it might just be, you know, writing it out on a Word document or typing it um, into to flashcards or, or different things. Um, and then I usually take a break around lunchtime I, I try to walk my dog or, or get outside, do some sort of physical activity. And then uh, I will come back, you know, do about five hours or so, four to five hours of, of classwork uh, or review. And then uh, I'll uh, take a break for evening for dinner. And usually after dinner, I'll, I'll spend maybe like another hour or two um, just reviewing flashcards and, and going over things uh, that I might not have understood from the, the lessons uh, that I learned that day or things that I just wanted to expand upon. Uh, and then, you know, quizzes are pretty often. They're basically every day we have a quiz every morning uh, and you wake up, you, you do your little review, you're take the quiz and then you carry on uh, with your next next set of things. Um, and it, it's really great the the setup of our quizzes and everything. It, it really forces you to be um, on top of your work every day and stay you know up to date and stay with everything. And you kind of set your own schedule, say, hey, I want to do you know basic sciences right now and then I'll do anatomy and physiology this afternoon or I might flip it the next day. It just depends on whatever mood I'm in or, you know, what classes I know we have an exam coming up. I might focus a little more heavily on those and, um, and kind of put the others on the, the back burner for a little while. Uh, so it, it, it depends day to day, but it's pretty, pretty steady across the week, Monday through Friday, like generally about 8 a.m. until I'd say 5 p.m. and then a little review in the evening. So how long is the didactic portion of Franklin Pierce? So it will, it started May or March uh, 3rd, and then it will go to uh, around March, the beginning of March next year. So 2025. Uh, so it's a, essentially 12 months. Now, when, when you come to the clinical rotations, will you be doing them here in Austin or will you be doing them elsewhere? So since we are uh, a, hybrid program. A lot of us don't actually live in Austin. Uh, a lot of us live, you know, different areas of the country. Uh, so we have provided our contacts in the areas that we live or areas that we know individuals, um, or we have given, and we've given, uh, information about where we could potentially uh, do a rotation. So where you might have family or, you know, a, a place that you could stay or a place that you could see yourself um, enjoying. Uh, so we have provided that information uh, to our uh, clinical year uh, advisor. And so she and that staff is getting everything kind of set up for us. Uh, and they're doing the best to get us those 
uh, clinical rotations where we live or somewhere that's close to home or where we have contacts. Um, but all in all, we kind of have signed on to the fact that we might have to come down to Austin for a rotation, or we might have to go to Montana or Colorado, or someone might have to come to Philadelphia, you know, and it, for, for me, I don't mind, um, the ability to travel and I don't mind the ability to, to meet new people and go new places. I'm totally open to it. I'm really excited to, to come to Austin. I've never been to Austin. Um, and I've heard there's so much great food, great fun. It's everything. So I, I'm excited to see new places. And cool. Well, I appreciate you taking this time to talk to us and give us some insight into this PA program. Um, I know the director and we've spoken before, but uh, here's an opportunity for other students to learn about this school that are certainly considering it and, you know, the sort of the benefits of it and hearing firsthand from somebody who's attending. This is the first year, right? You are the first class. Yeah, we are the inaugural class. So we're 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 working out some kinks here and there for things as as new programs always do. Um and we're learning together, but it's overall been a really awesome experience. Yes, it's an adaptation for for everything. Um and every year is a little a little different. So we're working through it and we're, we're learning lots and powering on. You obviously sound very passionate about this. I'm sure you're going to be a great PA after you graduate. So uh, again, thank you for taking the time out today to, you know, kind of inform or educate some of our students who listen to these and again, just appreciate your time and good luck to you. Awesome. Thanks so much for having me. And, you know, always reach out if you have any questions or, you know, if you want to know any more about the program, we're always here. We we love it. And any of the students that you meet will will share their passion for it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks so much.